Hello everyone and welcome once again to another program of Primetime. I'm your host Beverly. As we all know, Najiko is a major insurer here on our island and they always have new concepts and new ideas coming up. Today, we've taken some time off to invite the CEO to our studio to share a little bit. So stick around and you're going to hear lots more about him. We'll be back in a moment. At Najiko, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're fully covered after an accident. The security of your home and everything in it that means so much to you. And knowing that even when the weather does its worst, you and your family are covered. At Najiko, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. We're here at the Outdoor Sports Meet. Oh, cut. These sandflies are murder. Wait, how come you aren't getting bitten? Mommy uses gorgeous for kids to protect me from them and the evil mosquitoes that give you dengue. <laughs> There's also Go Family Protection for us adults. Can't be too careful with the dengue scares. Here. Wow, this really works. Even the ants have stopped biting me. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Go, protect yourself. As I mentioned in my opening today, we have the CEO of Najiku uh, Insurance's Envy in our studio today, and that Mr. Dwayne Elgin. And we'd like to thank him very much for joining us on the program. Well, thank you for having me today, Beverly. It's a privilege and an honor to be on this program. Yeah. And I look forward to participating and helping to, you know, tell the public a lot more about Najiko and myself and anything that uh, is deemed necessary. Right. It's nice to have you. And um, I must say that we are in the air 30-something um, years, about 32 years now, and Najiko has been a major sponsor of our program for, I, I would say, for about 30 years. On and off, well, so congratulations, yes. first of all. 30 yes. years is a mm -hmm. major milestone yeah. uh -huh. um, to be on the air and to, for, as you know, Najiko has always been interested in giving back to the community, and this, I'm um, sure, will continue to do so. Um, but congratulations, well yeah. done. So, you see what it takes? It does. Uh -huh. We sat for a while before we could get it right, <laughs> before we go on air. We make sure that um, we get the best quality. Yeah, definitely. So you've got a little peek at what happens behind prime time. So tell us how it's been going. You've been um, the CEO um, for the past two and a half years. Correct. So tell us a little bit about that change in your life. Well, Najiko is an exciting place, first of all, to work. It's a fun place. Um, we have a number of territories, actually 19 territories. So it requires a lot of focus and attention. Um, the transformation has been somewhat um, of a learning experience. Uh, previously, I've been with Najiko for 16 years, so mm -hmm. I would have spent a lot of time coming up in the ranks in Najiko. Yeah. I started at the bottom at the file, as wow. a filing clerk, wow. and gradually with studies and, and hard, lots of hard work mm -hmm. and lots of um, personal time, you know, I dedicated a lot of time to the company and ensuring that my tasks were finished in, in, in the time that I had. Um, so it has been uh, quite a journey. and. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would dare say that I would encourage anyone who is who is listening that uh, hard work does really pay off. Yeah. And you don't always, because people when they go away and they study, they want to be CEO of the company right away. Um, you too, as you said, you climbed um, the ladder at Najiko and look where you are. So what advice would you give to people um, that they don't have to start at the top? You're a prime well, example of that. Well, it's true, it's true. I think your hard work and your dedication and perseverance will always pay off um, when you're working in an organization. I think it's good also to have a very good leadership team around you. Mm -hmm. We have the privilege of having uh, Mr. Amjad, who's been at the helm of Najiko from its inception, and he does like to reward talent from within. We see that. Um, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and, you know, starting from mm -hmm. within, it's always probably... Some people believe it's the best for the organization, while some people believe getting persons from outside is also a good thing. But it, it depends on the situation. And, and the personality the, too. And the, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so how did you feel um, when, I suppose, he called you into his office, Mr. Maksud, and, and presented this to you? You know, Dwayne, we would like you to be the new CEO. I'm going to take another role in the company, and I'd like you to take over what I was doing before. 
Well, I first felt honored. Um, there were quite a number of people who've been with the company for a very long time. Um, we had some executive managers who would have been even probably close to the inception of the company. Um, there were quite a number of other people who would have been eligible for this position. I think at the end of the day, um, what was probably advantageous to me was the fact that I am I was involved in the core part of the business mm -hmm. and after all we're an insurance company so that certainly helped um, my understanding of reinsurance and insurance certainly was uh, a major advantage but it was it was quite a, mm -hmm. a surprise and an honor for me mm -hmm. now you said you'll have um wow 11 uh, I'm sorry 19 um, territories that, that you work with now how is that is that overwhelming at times well, I wouldn't say it's overwhelming, it's challenging, um, and what would the work life be without challenges? Uh, for us, uh, managing 19 territories is something that we relish. Um, apart from that, we also spend a lot of time traveling to the different territories right. in meetings with the branch managers or the directors of each subsidiary, if, if in a territory there's a subsidiary. Um, and uh, we spend a lot of time communicating with the agents and brokers in those territories as well through our agent, our, our branch management or directors in those territories. So it's quite exciting um, most of the time, uh, whether it's being in the territory or interacting with the people in the territory remotely. Yeah. So um, would you say, um, when you look back in retrospect, that St. Martin is, um, is an is a population that is very, very conscious about um, being insured and being involved in insurance, or you've seen that grow? Well, it has grown over the years. I think the fact that we are exposed to catastrophes, um, people are very cognizant of the need for insurance, primarily because of that exposure that we face. So um, uh, people are becoming more and more aware. There's lots of information available on the internet. So um, naturally our insurance public are more sensitive about the need for insurance, in my view. Okay, we'll take a break and then when we come back, we'll talk about some of the products that um, Nagico offers, um, insurance-wise, and some of the new, you've just recently launched um, a very, very interesting um, product, and we'll share a little bit about that in our next segment. Sure. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. This is Prime Time. Cruise is a great adventure, not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. Travel Planners, an award-winning agency on St. Martin with a well-trained, knowledgeable and friendly staff dedicated to making your travel arrangements hassle-free. We can book your airline, car, cruise and hotel reservations to anywhere in the world. Visit our offices or log on to our website and take advantage of our special packages to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Travel Planners, voted best travel agency on St. Martin. Hey, Bob, you're on family vacation. Oh, but your daughter's got the measles. But don't worry about it. With your Be Sure Travel Insurance, children under 12 are covered for free. Are you Be Sure? Be Sure. Yeah, for free. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time. And today we are speaking to the CEO of the Nagico uh, Insurances Envy, and that's Mr. Dwayne Elgin. Um, I have been trying to get him for this interview over a year, but they says, you know, patience. 
Yeah. So my patient, it, it, it wore you down? No. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, here you are, so I succeeded. So tell us, I know that um, also another reason why it was difficult to get um, the interview is that you were um, off island so many times and we had to kind of work with your schedule. So you just came off from a big trip. Share that a little bit with us. Yeah, well, usually we, we do go to Europe uh, on an annual basis to meet with reinsurers. Um, this year was no different, so we had to go to Zurich and London, and um, uh, it's basically to negotiate reinsurance treaties. Of course, you know, for an insurance company, um, it needs reinsurance, and reinsurance is an important part of any insurance company. So we take the time every year, once a year, to go and meet with our reinsurers and negotiate our treaties. Our Renewal, main renewal treaties come up in June, which is the beginning of the catastrophe season. So oh, yeah. we, we have to ensure yeah. that our reinsurers sure that they, are they, on board. Yes. Correct. And, mm -hmm. and all the treaties are in place so that when, uh, if there's a hurricane, we are well protected, our customers are well protected. So we take that very seriously and we dedicate the time, even though it's an arduous journey perhaps mm -hmm. to to Europe, we still make it every year. Yeah. So people, we know that of course, um, a big business in your company would be car insurances. Um, but what are people insuring coming to ask for in 2016, 2015? Well, uh, <coughs> the insurance landscape hasn't changed significantly um, throughout the Caribbean. But as the population, uh, the younger population becomes more and more aware of what is available, the, the, the need for insurance is certainly going to change. I think for now it remains traditional, so people come asking mm -hmm. to insure either their home, their mm -hmm. possessions, their private possessions, their car, or their health. I think that's uh, foremost on the minds of most people nowadays. Is uh, health a big thing? Health is a big thing mm -hmm. um, for a number of reasons. The, the cost of health care is, is mm -hmm. significant and therefore having to pay that out of your own pocket as against paying a premium on a monthly basis mm -hmm. or an annual basis and having an insurance company take care of that, mm -hmm. that concern is something as of a risk management decision that probably every individual makes. And um, it, it's cost effective, I think, to have health insurance rather than than having to take the money out of your pocket in the event that you get yeah. ill mm -hmm. or you're ailing, yes. Right, so. Yeah. so tell us with, with that, um, tell us about a new product that you have recently launched. Well, we've launched two new products. Um, primarily, we've launched the critical illness product, right. um, which is geared towards providing a lump sum payment to persons who develop a critical illness, providing that there are certain eligibility requirements that are met. So for instance, we, have, we cover about 19 ailments or illnesses that someone 19. can yes wow. that someone can develop mm -hmm. and um, once they develop that illness uh, within and they survive 30 days after being diagnosed with that ailment then we would pay a lump sum uh, there are options from 25,000 to a million dollars wow. and um, someone can purchase this easily as a matter of fact, it's it's relatively cheap. I think you can get a uh, hundred thousand dollars of cover for as low as less than a dollar a day. Um, wow! So it, it's relatively cheap. So how uh, has it taken up? Are people um, coming in? Yes, um, we launched it uh, just around the carnival time, which mm -hmm. was probably oh, a yeah. little bit inopportune. Yeah. Uh -huh. But um, we understood that yes, uh, people are going to be celebrating carnival and that sometimes has priority. Mm -hmm. um, but we encourage the public to now come in and, and, and sign up for their critical illness policies. I think it's a good policy to have. I personally have one, not because I, I work in the yeah. business, but because I find that it's very necessary. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, and you never know, mm -hmm. you know. But there's a big difference between, because sometimes it can be confusing as to what uh, health insurance provides and what critical illness will provide. Right, so. But health insurance doesn't provide any uh, tangible benefit directly to the to the insured. The critical illness provides that lump sum payment, cash in your right. hands if you like yeah. it that way. Mm -hmm. um, whilst the medical insurance pays for hospital care, uh, uh -huh. medical expense reimbursement directly to the hospital or the care provider. So it's different. Yeah. And what, what's the other product? We and the about? second product is mm -hmm. uh, a product geared towards the St. Martin 
uh, market. It's really a health insurance product that's uh, geared for persons who are not eligible for private insurance and um, oh. SZV insurance. Right. Oh, so okay. if you if you do not qualify because of a circumstance, perhaps you're self-employed or perhaps like you're... Like a taxi driver or something like that. Correct. Taxi drivers, <coughs> bus drivers, um, wow. vendors, mm -hmm. and persons of tho with those types of occupations. Yeah, yeah. They have options now. Yes, mm -hmm. it, there is an option. So um, what have you all done lately? Because we know, as we had said um, earlier on, you're a big community-minded company and, um, yeah, help a lot of local um, ideas, a lot of local events, very, very much involved. Um, anything you've been involved lately with that? Because I know it, that, that, you must be getting calls all day. Well, we do, yeah. we, do, we do help a lot. As a matter of fact, on a regular basis, we contribute to different community or social activities within the community, not only in St. Martin, but throughout the Caribbean. Um, our biggest event uh, for 2016 has been the, the Nagico Super 50 Cricket, right. which um, concluded in January. But apart from that, Carnival was, was just recently mm -hmm. um, concluded, and we would have sponsored the Calypso Finals. Um, that's a significant investment. Uh, we also do a number of other projects with various um, non-governmental organizations. For instance, we partner with the Rotary, uh, where they host a conference every year um, on a serious health uh, issue. Uh, in 2015, I believe it was about diabetes or nephrology, right. mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. This year it's going to, no, this year it's going to be about nephrology. Uh, in 2015 it was about uh, cardiology or mm -hmm. cardiac um, disease. Yes. Uh, so we, we, we do partner with a number of um, NGOs, NGOs mm -hmm. and uh, also community projects, individuals, uh, many times, what, what we have a significant amount that is expended every year for donations and, and I contributions. I could well uh, imagine it, that. Yes, it, it, it's it's more than uh, yeah. the amount we spend on, uh -huh. on these things is more than pr the profits we make in some right. way. Okay, stay tuned. In a moment, we'll be right back. Um, we're going to be talking about your typical day. I can imagine what that will be like. And so we'll be back in a moment. And don't forget, you can see this program in its entirety at your leisure and past programs on Facebook and on YouTube. Stay tuned and we'll be right back in a moment. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. -E. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read The Daily Herald. As I mentioned before, we took a break. We're going to be talking to Dwayne about what his typical day is like. Um, those two segments had me overwhelmed with how much goes on um, at Natural Insurances. So tell us what your, your, a typical day is like for you. Well, a typical day can vary, um, but uh, primarily it involves meetings, either meetings with uh, executives um, or meeting with our overseas people or meeting with agents or meeting with clients. Um, but it depends on, on what's uh, 
uh, happening at the time in a particular territory or in St. Martin. So, for instance, today would have been a typical day. Uh, we had meetings, a number of meetings. Uh, we met our, with our lawyers. We met with oh, uh, yeah. our managers. Mm -hmm. We were preparing for board meetings. So it requires a lot of um, balancing of time to ensure that you can meet with the different parties, also attend to emails. As a matter of fact, nowadays, emails has become probably mm -hmm. a big part of any executive's yeah. mm -hmm. day because um, you get hundreds, sometimes literally hundreds of emails that you have to respond to. And we have a system in place or a service standard that requires that we respond to emails within 24 hours. Wow. So mm -hmm. most times you are forced to, to f um, in order to, to maintain that standard, you have to try your best to respond to all mails yeah. or acknowledge mails. To make everybody feel that they're special, that's the important thing. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. or, or, you know, they, they, it's they, providing, you know, yeah. providing that service and that yes. response because people depend on you to make decisions and to provide answers. So you have to be on the yeah. ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And agents, because as um, Leslie and I was talking during the break, we were talking during the break about, you know, when you first start to work, the agents will always come to make sure that you are insured, life insurance and so on. That's a little different here in St. Martin. And St. Martin is the, the head office, actually, of all those 19 territories you've been talking about. Correct. Uh, St. Martin is indeed the head office. As a matter of fact, um, I think uh, uh, Najico is probably St. Martin's only export or biggest export. Um, throughout the Caribbean, so it's a, an amazing feat for Najico, and I think all St. Martiners ought to be proud that a local company has put its footprint throughout the Caribbean. Um, and, and you know, we continue to grow, we are expanding into the Turks and Caicos Islands in 2016. That's going to be a new kid on the block? It's going to be a new kid on the oh. block, and um, we also we are also operating in, well, we intend to have an operation in Suriname and Guyana, at some point in time. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a number of expansioner, expansion plans um, that will see Najiko become even bigger in the years to come. So tell me, I know you, you've just welcomed a new baby. How, how does that change your, your household? Because your daughter is what, about four, five, 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 years, five yeah. years old? And so she has a new baby sister, is it? Well, and, and, um, so how is she taking that? She's responding well to it, better than me perhaps, but mm -hmm. I have a lot of experience. I've had uh, at least six or seven nephews and nieces around that I've grown up or with. Okay. So I, I have a, 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 an appreciation for having a number of people around, but mm -hmm. uh, having your own child is always different and, and it requires some uh, adaptation to the new dynamic before it was mm -hmm. your first child. Yeah. Obviously, she got all the attention. So now you have to balance. You mm -hmm. have to be aware, yes. <laughs> very so aware right, of the right. need to balance uh -huh. the attention and ensure that you know you give the kids. But the how attention. do you ba balance that home life and um, your busy schedule as CEO of Najiko? Well, luckily, I, to start with, I have a good wife who who ensures that she takes good care of the kids um, and allows me time to mm -hmm. be able to go out and and and, and work the extended hours that I work sometimes. So so that helps significantly. But I, I, I find balance by, you know, once I'm at work, I work hard. And when I get home, I try to dedicate that time, time to, to the family life. Mm -hmm. yeah. any, any leisure time you involve? Don't tell me that you can't play cricket. Well, I have uh, recently um, taken up tennis. Okay. And I find tennis to be quite uh, intensive and also it, it can be played outside of hours right. that cricket can normally be played. I, I love cricket, but uh, unfortunately, you know, there comes a time when you need to, to really not hang up the glove, but mm -hmm. try to put things into perspective. Uh, if, if I want to be really competitive and um, involved in the sport, I really need to find the time. time. And uh, tennis gives me that opportunity. Mm -hmm you know, to play outside of hours that cricket is normally played. So yeah. I'm gravitating more towards to that. cricket. Yeah, and we, we also had um, Casey here. Um, we know that Najiko is a big supporter of, of cricket on the island, especially cricket, the youth cricket. And he, Correct. wow, what a, what, a, what a youth, what a guy. Indeed, I think mm -hmm. uh, he has done phenomenally well yes. for the island, for himself, for mm -hmm. his family. But um, it just goes to show what small 
islands can produce mm -hmm. and, 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 and I hope it encourages the youth of St. Martin, not only in cricket but any other sport, sport right. that uh, perseverance, mm -hmm. you know, hard work and dedication does pay off. Yeah. In, we know in Mark is, is a die, I, I would think it's even more than die hard, um, he always is so passionate about cricket and he started that in St. Martin because cricket was new to the island, our, our, our sport here was baseball. Correct. And so Correct. now we have um, a great cricket Association. Yeah, well, he's, yeah. he's, he's worked over the years to infuse mm -hmm. more life, bring organization, as he yes. said, to the sport. Um, there are quite a number of people who've been involved as well and would have assisted, but he's been the driver. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Not only from a leadership perspective, but from a financial perspective, yeah, exactly. he's managed. Mm -hmm. I don't think if, if yeah. um, there wasn't a mark suit around, mm -hmm. that cricket would have been at the level where it is, because there's financial support. Yeah, that's important um, too. It's significant for sports in general. Mm -hmm. You know, we contribute to a number of sports, not only cricket, but right. cricket is his passion. It's his so passion, as I said, his passion. Yeah. So what's for you next? Next five years down the road? Well, um, Primarily developing and growing Nagico. I think I am still at the early stages of my career as a CEO. Um, I want to, along with the rest of the management team at Nagico, we have an ambitious plan and um, I want to see that through. Uh, Nagico is also undergoing a change. We are being 50% um, of the company is being acquired by um, a global um, financial conglomerate. So that uh, means it's new and exciting times as well. So I have, uh, for me, yeah. um, I want to see the company grow. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's the chairman's vision to see the company become a bigger company than, than he set about. Um, so we, we, all, we all are excited, and I'm personally excited, to, see, to take Nagico to the next level. Okay, we would like to thank you very much thank you. for joining us on the program. It's been a pleasure having you. And um, don't be a stranger to the program. No. Find some time for us down the road and keep us abreast of what's happening. Well, thank you for having me. It, it was, was a certainly a pleasure. Yeah. And I hope definitely sometime to come and we'll probably talk about more successes at Magical. That'd be great. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been Prime Time. See you next week. And may God bless you.